Hi, we are starting a new PCB design video series in Altium Designer. And first we will start with layers. Layers in Altium Designer are well defined for those who are directly related to masks, like uh, production masks for the uh, copper layers, the assembly, the solder mask, and uh, the paste, for, for example. But all the other mechanical layers, which are in Altium as well defined, are not related to any specific features. So we have mechanical one, two, three, four, five, and so on, and we can use it for anything. And that's made quite a mess. And uh, lately, uh, due, during the usage of Altium Designer, we got a soft definition of what each mechanical layer would be for. And this definition is uh, the best described if you check the IPC compliant footprint wizard. And in that wizard, you can see what they use each mechanical layer for. And uh, let me now show you these layers in Altium Designer PCB. So this is the PCB design, it's empty. And let's check the layers. If you double click this bottom left uh, square here, you can get the layers. And in these layers, you see top and bottom layer here. These are signal layers. And then we have the component layer pairs, which are those which define the masks, such as overlay for top and bottom text, the solder mask and the paste mask. And then we have this mechanical layers I've been talking about previously, and we have other layers, such as multi-layer, a multi-layer is actually um, uh, for those features uh, that are on different layers, such as vias and holes. And the drill guide and drill drawing, which are for um, the documentation for drilling all the holes um, uh, to help with the documentation for that. And the keep out layer, which has all the features that are defining the areas where the components or tracks are allowed or not allowed, uh, that matter. Now, um, about these mechanical layers, as you see, only mechanical layer one is defined here, and there is no clear indication what should it should be used for. So let me go now to the library, the PCB library here, and check out the layers here. Well, here you see this, uh, let me go maybe to a um, yeah to this footprint here. So you see the uh, top layer for the pads. Then we have the um, the solder mask layer here. But what what about the rest? Which and here of course we have the um, top overlay. What about the rest of the layers which are shown here? For example, the three D body which is here is on mechanical 13, okay? Then we have this um, line here that is actually the sh shape that defines or represents the actual case of this uh, IC. It's also on mechanical 13. That one is actually used for documentation because this would then appear, if you want, of course, you can use that layer to uh, print out the actual position of all components. Because actually you cannot do that on top overlay because top overlay shouldn't go over the pads or it should be limited in that sense because we do not want to print everything on top overlay because actually it would make a big mess since the components are getting smaller and smaller. So we print on top overlay just the essential parts such as reference designators and maybe some graphical representation of where the pin one should be, for example, this track here. And um, uh, the green thing here is on mechanical 15, this here. And that one actually uh, defines the courtyard. A courtyard is a um, area which defines the private area of this I see, for example, and uh, not the other components should not enter this area. And default layer number is 15. Now let's check others. For example, this one, this is the courtyard. And here also you see that cross, which defines the 
center of the component. It is also defined on this mechanical 15 layer. Then we have the um, 3D body on mechanical 13. Let me show the rest. And the shape of this diode, for example. And you see from this shape where the uh, cathode is. And also you can type, uh, you can place in the designator so that uh, you actually can print out not just the uh, the case of this diode, but also the, its designator in the documentation. All right, on top overlay, you see just a part of this diode, which would then maybe also indicate where the cathode is. And these tracks here have some rules to obey, such as they should not go over the pads. So all that is uh, a part of a single component, component design, as you see here. And we should follow that these layers are uh, the same for all components and also in the final project. So let us go now to the project, uh, to PCB project here and define the layers. First of all, let me show you uh, what are the mechanical layers to be added here. First of all, I would like to add mechanical layer one. It's already here. I will just rename it. And mechanical layer one is actually used for board outline because this mechanical layer would define the shape of the board and i will also use board here as a type of this layer okay now i define this board outline layer what else i will now add another mechanical layer and i will name it um, notes, for example, here on this layer, I will use notes as I will place notes which are relevant to the manufacturer. So let's say assembly notes or fab fabrication notes. Yes, I will name it fabrication notes. Maybe I can also name it like that fab notes. Here, all the uh, relevant notes for fabrication should be placed. For example, the layer stack and the thicknesses of layers, of course, and the color of solder mask, the color of overlay, and so on and so on, and material setup, and so on. Okay, and then the third layer, I will add the rest of the notes, such as general notes. Maybe notes which are relevant only to you, or to, to, the, to the documentation, but not required by the manufacturer. Maybe the, 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 the uh, head and the, the, the other documentation important, um, important parameters. I will name it maybe sheet or something. So I will name it the layer type. I will use sheet for that. Let's go further. What about um, dimensions? I will add here, I will add component layer pair. What does that mean? For dimensions, maybe you use uh, all the, the, the dim dimensions of the PCB. Maybe you can also use dimensions between components on top layer and on bottom layer separately. So anywhere when you have the, um, the layer related feature, you should use layer pair because if you use uh, a dim if you put a dimension next to the component on top layer and then you switch the component on bottom, that dimension would also have to be switched to a appropriate layer on bottom layer. So using layer pair would help you with that because it would be done automatically. So layer 11 and 12 are used for dimensions. And the layer tape type would also be dimensions. What else? Here I have now the layer dimensions. Adding another layer, I would also add component layer pair, which would be now used for body information. So it would be like a component body information, layers uh, 13 and 14. And if you remember on layer 13, we had 3D body. So let's go here and the component uh, design. So I will use here component 
outline maybe this would be a right layer type component outline and additional i would add component layers um, pairs sorry which would be maybe layer 15 and 16 which are reserved for the courtyard so i'll use the layer type courtyard okay So these names are already suggested by Altium, but by Altium, but you can of course um, choose whatever you want. And these numbers of layers of mechanical layers are the one which actually are important for uh, are, are are defined for different uh, features by some un unwritten standards, I would say. And using them, of course, uh, would make your life easier if you stick to these numbers. Okay, let us now import the changes from the project to see what we see here. Okay, now we have components here. I will select all and I will use the um, place within the rectangle function here. All right, so what do we see now? <clears throat> we have different components. Let me use, well, let's say that capacitor and switch the layer by pressing letter L, use another comp capacitor and I'll put it on top here. And now I will move closer so that I can show you how these layer pairs actually work. So I will now, um, let's say show and hide top layer, top overlay. Okay, top overlay is seen. Maybe I will move a little bit further away so that you could be actually able to see all that in a nicer way like that. Okay. So top overlay, bottom overlay, a component layer pair works. The top solder mask and bottom solder mask. Okay. Then we have the top and bottom paste. For that, we have to actually select a paste layer to see it, top paste here, hidden, shown, and bottom paste, which is here. Top paste, bottom paste, here. Further dimensions, which are not, none here actually, so I cannot show them. Component outline on top layer and on bottom layer. See now how it works. We defined the, this um, footprint just for top layer and we selected layer 13. But since I selected the component layer pairs here, we can now see all that on bottom layer as well if we put this component on bottom. And courtyard on top, layer 15, or bottom on layer 16. I will show it now back, see? Okay, what else? Um, board outline, fab notes, journal notes, all that is of course, uh, can be visible later if we add it. So maybe some of the components in the library are still not made according to these layer numbers. So let me now, for example, use the layer 13 and see what happens if I hide it. So I, I have uh, hidden the layer 13. Are all the components, okay, no, these still have the 3D bodies visible because their 3D bodies are actually on layer one. So we have to replace that. So I will go and change that in the library because anything you want to change in terms of the design of the footprint, you should do it in the library, not on the PCB. I think these were component 0603. And as you can see, if you click on that 3D body, actually it is placed on mechanical layer one. So I will switch to mechanical 13 and I will do the same for resistor. Switching to mechanical 13 and then I will save it and compile. Yes. Saved everything, compiled. 
then I will go here to the PCB and change it. Well, what I can do, well, for, first of all, I can delete everything and import it again. But there is also other option. I can go to tools and here I can choose update from PCB libraries. And this function then would update all the components on this PCB from their library version. And you, I can select separately what kind, what, which layer should I update. And of course, I will just now select everything. Update. Execute. Yes. And now it will update all layers. Close. Checking out here, you see now if I show layer 13, all these are shown. Let me now sh go to the uh, this layer 13. It's called Tom Top Component Outline, Shift S. You see what is now visible on this layer 13. And these are the features which are nice to have for the documentation. So using um, correct or standardized, let's say roughly standardized layer names, layer numbers for in Atom is essential if you want to have an less problems later when you want to generate the documentation of your PCB. And sticking to this number is very advisable.